Hello there, I am David Hale, and I'm here today at the Linden House Art Center in beautiful Athens, Georgia. And um, I'm gonna share with you a little bit about my process of sketching, which is kind of the foundation to how I make art and how I've been making art since I was a small child. And it really hasn't changed too much. And uh, it's still probably my favorite type of art to make is just simply just making doodles and making sketches. So um, to begin with, I have a setup here. This is my little travel art case. I like having um, just a small bag. This is a beautiful bag actually that my goddaughter and my dear friend gave to me that they brought back from, uh, from Paris. And um, I've kind of fit my tools to fit in this bag to go with me everywhere. And I've, I take this with my family when we travel. I take it into the woods, I take it to the beach. It goes with me and I've got all the things I need to create when I feel inspired. And this bigger pouch, this is my sketchbook. I love this sketchbook because it fits right in here. It's a nice little small size and it's got really nice paper. And I bring this um, all over the place drawing. The first piece here is one I did um, during my, uh, the wedding for my, my best friend, the days before his wedding while we were down there in the jungle. So I really like having these pieces to go with me and then I can flip through them and they remind me of the places I've been and the people I've loved and been with and the places I've loved. So I'm gonna show you a few. There's a whole bunch of, here's a, a toucan and um, all kinds of fun. This is, we saw a little, uh, little crocodile. There's a crocodile. If you look as I flip through it, it kind of, the pages flip and sometimes, you know, one drawing goes one way, then you got to flip it over and it goes the other way. I just really, I pick this up whenever I feel inspired and I just start drawing. So to begin with, I have the all important eraser. Um, we all need erasers. I use up the erasers on the back of my pencil so quick that I always have to carry another eraser. So even though I'm a professional artist and been making art my whole life, uh, I, I use an eraser all the time. I make I make mistakes every single time I do a drawing. So, and the eraser is actually a good tool. You can draw with it also. It's not just for mistakes. So I've got an eraser to begin with. And then I like having some different types of pencils. So. In my kit right now, I've got a variety of hardness of pencils. I've got a one pencil that makes a really light line, that's a 2H. They've got letters that go with how soft the lead gets and how dark of a line gets, so I'll lay them out here in order. There's a 2H that makes a really light line, then an HB that's kind of like the pencils that you use at school. And then I've got a 2B that's a little darker, and then a 4B that's darker than that, and a 6B that's darker than that. And I really, I like making dark, heavy lines. I push down really hard when I draw and I like a nice dark line. So I mostly just use the 6B pencil and this lighter 2H pencil. And I can pretty much make any drawing with just them. The rest is just kind of bonus. Um, and so then the other big thing that I love, I've got a colored pencil here that's an erasable colored pencil. It's a red. I really like drawing with this first, I'll show you, because I can erase it and I can draw lots of lines and choose which one I want um, to be my final line I'm working with. So there's my erasable pencil. And then I've got, um, and this to show you too, this is my favorite kind of just um, school pencil. And uh, I draw, I've, I've drawn probably hundreds of miles of lines with uh, pencils like this. They're a lot of fun. They've got good erasers. And, uh, and then I've got the colored pencils, like I said, that, um, that Crow let me borrow. So these are all Crow's pencils that he shared with me that I just kind of grab a few colors I like and then just see what happens. I like to take a moment to think about if I'm drawing something, to be thankful for it. I mean, sometimes I'm thinking about somebody I love or care about or a feeling or experience I've had. There's endless possibilities of things to be thankful for. Sometimes I'm just thankful that 
somebody made this piece of paper and somebody made all these really cool tools for me to work with. I have no plan right now of what I might put on this paper. I think that, you know, I'll probably draw a bird because that's what ends up happening a lot, but I don't really know what's gonna happen. So a lot of times I start, I just try and kind of draw big shapes to see what might want to come through, you know? I start thinking maybe, you know, maybe this could be a head, maybe this could be a beak. All I'm really doing is trying to find there's, that there's a drawing somewhere in this piece of paper and I, I'm really just kind of getting it to come out of, of the piece of paper. Um, and, you know, I've got ideas like I, of, of things that I've been liking to find lately and I, I think that could come out, but, but you really never know what, um, what might happen here. So sometimes I just find some shapes here and, and you can draw any, anything you want. I don't, you know, for me, birds are what, what I end up pulling out of the page a lot, but for you, it might be something else. It really can be anything. Um, but I love, I love birds and I have for a long time. So, uh, so I know their shapes and their patterns and I like seeing the way they come through. I, I love what, like seeing birds in flight. So most of the time my birds are flying. So right now I'm kind of working out the main shapes of where this could be a bird. I've got here like a head. I'm starting to wonder what the shape of the back of its body could be. Just seeing what might happen here. It's kind of got this curve. All right, let's see here. It needs wings, right? Birds are great because they can be really simple or they can be really complex. And I like things like that, that have the possibility of both being very simple or very complex. So I can just draw a very simple shape of just the bird's body and its head and its wings. And people will know that, that what I'm drawing is, is, a, is a bird, but you can also look really closely at birds and you can find all kinds of tiny little shapes and patterns and their feathers and their markings. So there's a lot of possibility in a bird for all the shapes you can make. So right now I'm kind of working out where its body might go. This is one of its wings I'm thinking about right here. I'm trying to decide where its other wing might come. kind of going to have its wings open, it looks like. And sometimes, see like this, sometimes I keep everything on one page. Sometimes the drawing just wants to come over and I might bring it like this across and make a really long, big bird that comes all the way over onto this other page. See this, it's got nice long wings going. Here's maybe it's going to have a nice long tail, it looks like. And I don't worry too much about my lines right now. You can see I'm making lots of really quick lines. And that's a really important thing about sketching is if I try, if I make this one line and I say, oh, that's not right. And I, I go through, erase it and try to draw a better line. My body has a memory. My body operates a lot on memory. And I'll just end up drawing the same line over and over again. So some of the best advice I have for sketching is to do like this and sketch a few lines. That's what you know we think about is, is, is sketching is kind of these loose marks and you can, you can make quite a few marks and then choose which one is, is the best line for that shape that you're trying to create.
right, so uh, here is my completed sketch for you guys to check out. Um, I feel really good about it. This uh, I worked on it for about 40 minutes or so. And um, yeah, I hope that you will uh, create something too that you're happy with. And um, I made a lot of mistakes and it still, it, it still came out the way it was meant to. So, um, so yeah, I hope that you, uh, you find some inspiration in it. And uh, most importantly, find some inspiration in what you're creating and know that um, your work does not need to be like this and it shouldn't be and I couldn't create what you're creating and um, you don't need to create what I'm creating but I hope you can find your voice and some thankfulness and some gratitude in uh, the art that you're so lucky to get to create with your hands. <laughs> I hope you enjoy.